Hi guys, and thank you for tuning in to my video. Today's video, thank you for coming and stopping by to Blooming Woman's YouTube channel. So in today's video, I'm gonna be talking to you guys about the jellyfish animal totem. This video is going to apply for you if you're seeing the jellyfish inside of your life, whether you see it because you looked up in the clouds and saw an image of a jellyfish, or whether you see it because you were looking in the ground and you, all of a sudden you saw an outline of a jellyfish, or if you're seeing actual jellyfish, real life jellyfishes in the ocean or inside of your life, at a museum, at an aquarium. If you're just seeing jellyfish pop up into your life in a way where it feels like it's a message or some kind of omen for you, then this video is going to apply for you. Now I do have to note before getting into the video that this animal totem video is not going to apply for you if you're just having a dream of a jellyfish because that has a different interpretation. So yes, without further ado, let's go ahead and see what we can learn about the jellyfish animal totem. guys for this video I definitely have notes because there are some words that English is not my first language you guys and there's some words here that I definitely need to look at in order to read it but nevertheless when we're talking about the jellyfish um, I actually just recently had some experience with the jellyfish firsthand but the jellyfish comes through as a real important omen this is an incredible animal to see because it has such unique features and it's just such a unique animal and its meaning is very positive overall. So when you see a jellyfish, the first thing that we're gonna dive into is the fact that the jellyfish is actually called a jellyfish. Like what is a jellyfish? Because we have to understand the actual animal in order to also interpret what the meaning of the animal is spiritually. So what is its defense mechanism? How does it, um, how does it interact with its environment? How, what is the makeup of this animal, right? So the first thing to note about the jellyfish is it's called a jellyfish, but it's not actually a jellyfish. So the jellyfish is really an invertebrate. So what that means is that means that it doesn't have any spine or it doesn't have any bones at all with inside the animal. All right, so jellyfish don't have any bones. They don't have any spines. They actually don't have blood neither or brain. Um, I don't even think they have a sense of smell or, or hearing. So they're really just a blob of jelly. <laughs> Hence the name jellyfish, but they're not a fish. And this is also important to note later on in the video why it's not a fish. So when it comes to having an animal that has this structure where it is filled with jelly-like substance as its core, the first thing we're gonna note when we see a jellyfish is seeing a jellyfish can be telling you to practice on your ability to have soft skills. That's right. So your ability to be soft, your ability to tap into your divine femininity, your ability to really tap into how you can not be so harsh, but be more flexible, adaptable, and also be more intuitive. Because we're talking about water elements. Not only is it because the jellyfish's environment is in the ocean, which is water element, but it's also because of the fact that the jellyfish actually is consumed mostly of water. When you look at it, it's, it's filled with water. It's not filled with blood, it's actually filled with water. So it is very much so like water element. And some of the things that signify the jellyfish being water element, it's its ability to purify itself, its ability to heal, because water element is also very healing, and the jellyfish is actually very healing. I have a really important thing to tell you guys later on in the video about the jellyfish, which is remarkable. Um, so purification, healing, and we're also gonna be talking about longevity and softness, right? So when you see a jellyfish in your life, you can definitely see it at a time when the waves and the waters can be very like turbulent inside of your life. It is an omen, I've experienced this myself. It can be an omen of your immediate environment 
whether it's your work environment or your home environment, but your immediate environment that you are um, within, like on a daily basis or quite frequently, might have a change of emotions. It might change. The energy inside your environment might be kind of turbulent. So you might see shortly after you see the jellyfish in your life, or maybe during the times that you're seeing the jellyfish during that time period, you'll notice that your immediate environment, your home life or your work life could have a lot of emotions going up and down. A lot of the people around you could be very emotional and it's actually telling you to be very emotionally intelligent. The jellyfish is telling you to be emotionally intelligent and be like water element. It's telling you to practice those soft skills and make sure that you are really going about things in a way where you're not trying too hard to control the situation. Changes are going to occur because the tides are always changing. The water element is changing just like the jellyfish is in the ocean and the ocean is going all over the place. There's so much waves, but the jellyfish is able to keep its balance. It's able to keep its stance and it's also able to keep its defense mechanism and also just live it's still able to keep a sense of peace of mind. And that's what it's telling you. When we see animal totems inside of our lives, when we see animals, when we see anything inside of our immediate environment, it is a reflection of ourselves. So the animal totem is coming through to reflect exactly what it is that the guidance that you need to do as well. So you must be like a jellyfish during the turbulent, emotional, triumphant moments that you're going through inside your life at the moments that you're seeing a jellyfish. Now, jellyfish not only represents softness and not only does it also represent that flexibility and that ability to let things just kind of happen the way that they're supposed to happen, but it's also going to be representing resilience because in order to be emotionally intelligent and emotionally strong like water element, water is intelligence. You gotta understand that. Water is intelligence because it purifies itself. So it can absorb negative energy, it can absorb things, and then it can, it can cleanse the things through just its own element. And that's also what the jellyfish does. So the jellyfish is gonna stand for those things, but it's also gonna stand for longevity. Longevity, the reason why I put this down as a meaning for the jellyfish is because I've actually experienced it and because from an intuitive standpoint, it just makes sense and it just is what it is. The jellyfish definitely comes through inside of your life to tell you about how you are needing to practice your ability to have longevity inside of your life. So there's a species of jellyfish that actually is able to be immortal. That's right, <laughs> there is an, the only animal inside the entire world that is able to basically transmutate itself from being an adult or child. If it's an adult version of this jellyfish or a child version of this jellyfish, if it feels like it's in pain or if it's feeling sick or uncomfortable, it can actually revert itself back into a pollen or back into an infant stage and start its life cycle all over again, over and over and over again. This is an immortal species of the jellyfish. And this immortal species of the jellyfish is called the Teratopsis dorini. So I'll put it up there for you guys to read it. But definitely, this is talking about being able to purify yourself. This is water element, being able to renew yourself, renewal, being able to um, be immortal because water element is really, when you think about it, the first element, especially if we're going back to comedic principles, we're looking at water element, we're looking at Newt, the Milky Way um, galaxy is the is what Newt is. She's a personification of the Milky Way galaxy. So Mother Newt, that deity in Kemet that is on the pyramid text that exists, that is real personification of the stars and the birthing of the stars, she is also looked as water element. She is also looked as the prim primeval waters. So water is immortal. Um, and that just is an example of it from that species of jellyfish being able to renew its life cycle. So the jellyfish can also be coming into your life to tell you that you should probably start to practice 
a lot of these things like softness, practice adaptability, practice being able to um, let changes occur around you without necessarily um, being too hard and stern, but instead let loose. It's just like how they say, if you're driving a car and you feel like you're about to get in an accident, don't tense up because if you tense up in an accident, you're actually gonna break more bones. But guess what? The jellyfish isn't gonna break any bones because it doesn't have any bones. So it's very soft. So therefore it's actually very strong and it's actually very resilient and it actually has a lot of longevity and it can be immortal. So the jellyfish represents you taking care of yourself through your soft skills. Soft skills are gonna be your protection in what it is that the jellyfish is pointing towards inside of your life. Woo, hi guys, sorry I had to stop the video because I had to tell you guys something really important. So I have this shirt on and guess what? You can have it too. I got this shirt from a company called Shirt Design Clothing and they have a bunch of spiritual clothing on there with lots of graphics all types of things so this one has the owl on it with the third eye and it's in blue with the third eye chakra color and they got it on deck so if you guys want to get 10 percent off all you have to do is type in butterfly bloom at the checkout and you will get 10 percent off of any purchase off of any item off of their website i will also link a link inside of the description box and if you click on that link it's automatically going to give you the 10 percent off so if you like what you see make sure that you check out the link inside the description box below where you will be taken straight to shirtdesignclothing.com and get 10 percent off of your t-shirt oh let's get back to the video now another thing about the jellyfish it also represents fruitfulness fruitfulness in the sense of fertility jellyfish can reproduce so fast to the point where their jelly-like substance of their of their of their body is there's so many of them in the ocean that they've actually had to block off some seas some ocean um, size sides inside of japan and other areas of asia they've had to actually block off beaches because there's so many of um jelly fish like just piled up because they're reproducing so much and they're soft body is so thick to break through that it even clogs up fishing lines and it's actually a danger to go inside of the water so softness is actually a superpower given the circumstance or given how you're using it or you know given the timing of use of that softness um, if it's appropriate with what you're going through and if you're seeing a jellyfish then it is appropriate to practice those soft skills for longevity and for basically being able to go through ripples of emotional challenges and emotional changes inside of your life by and also gaining emotional intelligence as opposed to completely um, being swallowed by the waves of changes inside of your life instead you're going to be resilient through it with your soft skills so again with the fruitfulness another thing jellyfish do is they're able to multiply themselves through obviously mating and doing their stuff and multiplying themselves through there but they can also reproduce themselves even with a single jellyfish it has the ability to split itself in half and create another jellyfish and then that jellyfish can split itself in half again and can create another jellyfish and then so on and so forth so this pretty interesting because the jellyfish has the ability to split itself so this is going back to immortality this is going back to being fruitful so you could be seeing this at a time where you are going through a lot of life challenges a lot of emotional turmoil but you actually have the strength to go through it and the strength is to have gratitude the strength is to practice your soft skills is to dive into your ability to be adaptable and almost even blend in because the jellyfish blend in with their water they blend in with their environment so you're going to have to be sort of chameleon like during this time frame that you're seeing the jellyfish as an animal totem it's good for you to be chameleon like it's good for you to be able to, to transmutate right into into your environment all right so that way you're not standing out too much and you're kind of just going about your 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 day okay that's going to be your safety net when you're seeing the jellyfish inside of your life 
Also with the fruitfulness, it's also telling you to go out and actually plant seeds, right? Because fruits bear seeds and fruits have the ability to multiply itself just like the jellyfish does. So it's telling you to also be a reflection of that and make sure that you are doing things to multiply what it is that you already have. So being really resourceful, but also being able to bear fruit. So that means that you should be creating um, and being very creative during this time frame. But unlike other animals, not only are you just going to be creative, but it's about the way that you're going to be creative. So with the jellyfish, the way that you're being told to be creative is to be creative in a sense where you're taking what it is that you have within you and you're projecting it outward. So it's kind of like manifesting fruitfulness. So being able to do certain things like meditate and vision, visual boards or visualize things will help you in this moment. It will also help you in this moment to look at what it is that you already have, the gifts that you have, the talents that you have, um, the instruments that you already have on hand, the materials, the resources that you already have on hand, the people that you already know in your contact list, the skill sets that you already have, repurposing things that you already have. So it's also about um, sustainability in a sense as well. Um, it's also about sustainability. And even when you think about the jellyfish and what they do when they all multiply in fruitfulness and they clog up the beach and they have to shut the beach down and they clog up the fishing lines and they have to kind of get the fishermen off from doing their big commercial fishing, it's actually looking out for the environment. It's actually being a little bit of a humanitarian, like Hoppy. It's actually um, purifying the earth by going through its fruitfulness of bearing seeds is actually making sure that this earth's the ocean life is being prolonged by basically stopping people from polluting inside of the sea and also stopping fishermen from being able to fish so it's it really is a unique creature and that's why this video is a little more on the lengthy side but it's all worth it for you guys so this is what the jellyfish is all about make sure that you guys are also taking into account that this is a general meaning although it's specific there are multiple meanings behind the jellyfish and your situation could be telling you just to focus on one. It could be telling you to focus on all the different meanings and adapting these things. Not just adapting it, but learning it and taking your time learning these skills of the jellyfish and the advice that I'm giving you. Um, also, make sure that you're tapping into your own intuition. You never want to just Google something, look up a video and take it as knowledge without gaining any wisdom. So you want to make sure that you're also going through your experience. Make sure that you take everything in life as an actual lesson. Make sure that as you're implementing these new habits of the jellyfish, that you're also paying attention to your surroundings and seeing how the butterfly effects occur as you change and take on the jellyfish characteristics. Pick up on your environment, pick up on yourself, so that way you can gain some wisdom and some more intelligence on what it is that your, your intuition is trying to tell you. So thank you guys so much if you enjoy watching this video. Make sure that you guys hit the like button, of course, and make sure you guys subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And also, I do offer my personal readings still. Their link is inside the description box below. I have my handmade crystal pendants right over here. The link is inside the description box below for that as well. And if you're seeing the jellyfish inside of your life, and you watch this video and you still are confused or you still want more information, you can also book a personal reading with me and I'll be able to intuitively go in there and see what it is that we're working with and give you a full spread reading of guidance and counsel for you. So thank you so much guys for tuning into this video and I'll see you inside the next one. Bye bye.